the rest of us, let's take our seats. And also, all the photographers, you will maintain your position. No movements. We need no movements now. All the photographers, you will maintain your positions. Now, security, you can take charge. Tafadali, ninaongea kwa lugha ambayo inaeleweka. Na niatumai muna nisikia na muna nipata kwa njia safi. Kama umesimama tunakuomba uweze kuchukua nafasi iwapo wewe ni mtu wa itifaki ama ni asha ama wale ambao wanabaki kusimama peke yake na wanaruhusiwa mpaka mgeni wetu afike ni security iwapo wewe sio security tunakuomba basi upeane nafasi hiyo sasa ni wakati wako uende kuchukua nafasi hiyo tunataka kuanza mkutano wetu Na vile vile wale waliofika kuchelewa tulitangaza hapo awali kwamba tuweke simu zetu kwenye silent mode ama vibration As our leaders take their seats we still insist for those who are standing let it be only the crew members and the security the rest of us should be seated ICC mtazamaji ni taarifa ambazo zinakujia moja kwa moja na hiyo masampao yuko pale KCC na mwenzangu Vincent Odori yuko katika eneo la Kasarani bila shaka watakuwa na tu wanazungumza nasi muda si mrefu kutufahamisha yanayoendelea katika sehemu hiyo lakini hapo awali tumeona daktari Gwada Ogota ambaye ni wa chama cha Roots akizungumza na kuelezea mambo mbalimbali ambayo anasema kwamba chama cha Roots kilitaji wataalamu kuweza kuelezea wa Kenya me, mfumo ambao wanao wanaotumia wakati ambapo wanaomba kiti cha urais kwa ajili ya uchaguzi wa Agosti tarehe tisa mwaka huu na nasema kwamba pale akielezea manufaa ya bangi na akisema kwamba ina manufaa mengi tu hasa katika kutengeneza dawa na vile vile e, kutengenezea mali hasa kwa matumizi ya shambani mtazamaji na vile vile basi ametoa wito kwa kiongozi wa chama hicho bwana George waja kwa profesa kwamba wakati basi wapo atachaguliwa kwenye uchaguzi wa tarehe tisa mwezi Agosti azingatie kuhalalisha bangi mtazamaji kwa ajili ya faida ambazo amezitaja pale lakini ni muhimu kutaja kwamba hii ni taarifa ambayo bado tunaendelea kuifuatilia mtazamaji tutakuwa tunakuletea mengi zaidi kuhusiana na uzinduzi wa manifesto hizi mbili upande huu ukiwa ni upande wa roots na vile vile upande mwingine ukiwa ni Kenya kwanza ambao tayari wamekusanyika wameungana wote kusikiza viongozi wao wanapi ya kusema mtazamaji lakini basi kama nilivyo kujuza ni kwamba muungano wa Kenya kwanza ukiongozwa naye naibu rais William Ruto unazingatia mambo mbalimbali mbali, mambo muhimu ambayo anasema kwamba ni akowasaidia wa Kenya wakifua kitume ule mfumo wa bottom up ambao umekuwa kipigiwa patu sana na uongozi wa muungano huu wa Kenya kwanza mtazamaji na kidogo tu kidogo nikiangalia manifesto ya mtazamaji kuna mambo ambayo wame ya zungumzia kama vile hali ya maisha mtazamaji wakisema kwamba watageuza mambo hasa kwa kutumia kilimo huu ni muungano wa Kenya kwanza ambao muda si mrefu naibu rais William Ruto atakuwa uwanjani kuelezea wa Kenya ni yapi ambayo nayo ili waweze kufanya maamuzi yao kwa ajili ya uchaguzi mkuu wa tarehe tisa mwezi Agosti hebu sasa tuzungumze naye Vincent Odora tuelezee kwa kina zaidi kutoka kule Kasarani Vincent uwanjani wako Naam sadakta naam sadakta sana ambapo kwa sasa wakati muda wote kuanzia sasa uh, na kwa sasa tunasikia kwamba Oh uh -huh. 
Muslim brother Hassan Hache to lead us in a word of prayer. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم ملك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إيدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين Oh God Almighty Allah we pray to you that we have gathered here tonight to deliberate on a document that will guide these nations, the 45 million uh, aspirations in the next 10 years or even forever. We pray to you that we guide us a big win in the 47 counties, in the 290 consensus, the, four, the 1,450 wards, and the 280 plus polling stations. We have gathered here today to tell the world that Hazala Nation is going to win on the 9th of uh, August 2022, which is 39 days from tonight. This is again a very important day today. We pray to you that it is the first day of Hijrah, al -Hijra. not Hijrah, it's the first day of al our pilgrimage. We have gathered here at Mecca. This nation is now live. We pray to you that we guide us. Most of us have even fasted today to pray for the fifth president of this nation plus all aspirants. We have gathered here to talk about a document that has the voices of the voiceless, which have been gathered in the last three months across the 47 counties. Amen. We still remain standing. I will invite uh, Bishop Dr. Joseph Moffat Kilioba for the Christianity. In the book of Joshua, chapter 1, I'm just going to read one verse before I pray. And it's found in the verse 8. It says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. For us to have good success and to prosper, this book of the law shall not depart from our heart and our mouth. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this evening, as the nation is looking to this beginning great day, a day that marks the beginning of the Hasla nation in this country. And we are praying that God our Father, as this book of the law stays in their heart, and as they walk in that path which you have given, you have promised you will give them good success and they are going to prosper. So we want to thank you and to bless you. We welcome you in this meeting now. Come, Heavenly Father, take control. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you very much. Let's all take our seats. As I invite my brother and the Director of Communication Presidential Campaign, Hussein Mohammed take uh, control of the meeting. Welcome. Thank you very much, uh, my brother. All protocols observed as we wait for our leaders. Uh, good evening to Joyce joining us here, uh, wherever you're watching us from Kenya and the world. We say that this election will be about the economy, and tonight we will demonstrate that it will be about the economy and that the people with the plan to revive the economy will be in this room tonight. Welcome to the Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition Manifesto launch. Uh, before I proceed, I want to first uh, invite two important guests. The others still coming. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Pastor Dorcas Rigadi.
Again, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Mama Rachel Ruto. Okay, uh, I want to introduce the other guests that are coming in, but first I want to invite Tracy Wanjiru to read the Hustler's Creed. For those who remember Tracy Wanjiru, she put up a spirited fight uh, during the presidential uh, nominations for the ticket for UDA, uh, together with our candidate, of course, uh, Dr. William Ruto. Uh, let me now welcome Tracy Wanjiru uh, to read the Hustler's Creed. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as you've heard, my name is Tracy Wanjiro. Uh, I love this party so much, and I'm glad to be here to present to you the Hustler's Creed. A new nation is rising, a nation of equal opportunities for all, a nation that celebrates and rewards hard work, a nation where success is not based on who you know, not which community you belong to, not where you come from, but your ambition and how hard you work. A nation that guarantees respect for all. A nation where we all work hard to lift each other up. A nation where no one is left behind. No one. We are not a people who wait for things on silver platters. We knock doors, chase opportunities, seize chances, and pursue possibilities. We have no entitlement whatsoever to anything. We sweat for what we get, toil for what we have, and labor for our destiny. We wake up early, work long hours, and sleep late in our shambas, our kiosks, our streets, and markets, factories, running tracks, boda bodas, and offices. Every single Kenyan must feel welcome on the table of our national family as a birthright and not, I repeat, not as a favor. This is how we build a strong nation, united and prosperous nation. Everyone's dream matters. Every dream deserves a chance. I repeat, every dream deserves a chance. And every dream requires opportunities and support to blossom. Our message offers a new paradigm, a chance to carve a fresh path for our country. It communicates our plan to mobilize Kenyans to change Kenya. I repeat, to mobilize Kenyans to change Kenya. The message is that all dreams are valid and all dreams matter. It is a message about bridging the opportunity gap as the pathway to build a strong and rich nation, an assurance that no matter what their dream is, nobody is going to stand in their way. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, uh, Tracy uh, Wanjiru. I think she deserves another club. Thank you very much, Tracy. Okay, I want to recognize now the other leaders of Kenya Kwanzaa who will be joining us, uh, starting with uh, uh, the running mate candidate of Kenya Kwanzaa and UDA party. Put your hands together for Rigadi Gashagwa.
We also have uh, Madam Fatuma Achani, Honorable Fatuma Achani, the Deputy Governor, Kwale County, soon to be Governor, Kwale County. The Honorable Musalia Mudavadi, the party leader of the Mani National Congress. The Honorable Governor Ann Waiguru, Governor Kirinyaga County. The Honorable Senator Moses Watangula, Party Leader, Ford, Kenya. The Honorable Alice Wahome, MP Kandara. The Honorable Governor of Machakos County, Dr. Alfred Mutua, also party leader, Mendeleo Chap Chap. The Honorable Justin Muturi, Speaker of the National Assembly and party leader of the Democratic Party. And the Honorable Moses Kuria, party leader CCK. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again. And before now, I introduce uh, the party leader of UDA and, of course, the Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition uh, presidential candidate. I want to take you through the journey. And I'll start again. From Nairobi, Kenya, to the world, it is my singular honor to welcome you all uh, to this historic event. Okay. I'm being told the microphone is Zimwa. Zima yangu. Zima yangu. Okay, I believe I'm audible now. Good. I'll start again. From Nairobi, Kenya, to the world, it is my singular honor to welcome you uh, to this historic event, the launch of the Kenya Kwanzaa uh, Manifesto the People's Manifesto, and we will tell you and describe to you why we call it the People's Manifesto. Freedom is coming. And why do I use the weighty words historic and freedom? While many know that Kenya was born out of struggle for freedom and resistance of the colonial rule, few understand that true freedom is yet to be achieved. Few understand why the struggle must continue to be waged until true freedom is achieved. Neither do they understand the nature of freedom that must be won. The damage done to us over that long period is what we must undo. Now, while we got independence, we did not discard the oppressive colonial governance model. We inherited and perfected it. The master-servant relationship, state capture, divide and rule, and impunity and contempt. The first liberation was to remove direct colonial rule. The second liberation was to liberate the country from one-party dictatorship and an oppressive constitution and guarantee political freedoms. The third and final liberation should be based on the correct diagnosis of what the fundamental problem is. Kenya Kwanzaa, through the people, has diagnosed this problem. For the diagnosis and solution, ladies and gentlemen and fellow Kenyans, I now present to you His Excellency, the Deputy President and incoming President under the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance and UDA Presidential Candidate, Dr. William Ruto.
On behalf of the Kenya Kwanzaa team, I welcome all of you to this momentous occasion of the presentation of our manifesto as we head to 9th August 2022 for the general elections. Ladies and gentlemen, to say we are in a storm is an understatement. There are not enough white-collar managerial jobs in the public service or the small corporate economy to absorb the hundreds of thousands of young educated Kenyans with middle-class aspirations. It is no longer possible to extinguish their aspirations by failing them in exams. Neither can we continue to throw cramps at them, such as the Kazim Tani, or export a few nurses here and there, expecting that it will stem the tide as we continue with business as usual. Sooner or later, the dam will break. Ladies and gentlemen, the reality is we have 10 million Kenyans who are either unemployed or underemployed. We have a crisis of cost of living. Our agricultural productivity has not matched our population growth. The fertilizer subsidy that existed to boost capitalization of our agricultural sector was withdrawn, undermining funding to the agricultural sector. Food imports have grown from 140 billion to 360 billion this year. To put it in context, we are spending 360 billion to import food and food items. And of course, every Kenyan knows that the price of two packets two kilogram packet of unga is now 230 shillings up from 75 shillings in 2018. As if that is not enough, we are in a debt hole. Our borrowing now stands at 9 trillion. That our public finances are not in order is something we can no longer deny. Interest rates and interest costs is now the single largest expenditure item in our recurrent budget. In fact, it has exceeded the national government wage bill, which is 550 billion, and now it's 
dwarfing the, the county government equitable share of 370 billion. We will spend this year over a trillion shillings on that debt servicing alone. The saying goes that when you find yourself in a hole, you should stop digging as a principle. <laughs> Kenya Kwanzaa is very alive to this council. The economic turbulence that we are in demand more than a manifesto that makes a catalogue of pledges that if implemented could push the country beyond the tipping point.